Right, so let's see how we can use the Maelstrom in a similar way with the Redrum as well. So we're going to make a Maelstrom and we're going to use a sound from the Redrum to trigger a Maelstrom. So first of all, create a Maelstrom. Okay, and this time we're going to use something slightly faster. So we're going to use a gate out of a hi-hat to trigger the gate in oops wrong one the gate in of the maelstrom so now if I solo this pattern you can hear that the sound is making so it's altering this Vespa preset noise let's find something a bit more exciting so I'm going to turn the second oscillator off So we could create a bass for example, and this is where we could start to muck about with shifting things like pitch, add a bit of distortion to it. So I'm wondering if the mod envelopes will work with it, so let's find out. Yeah, you can hear that it will. Let's find a bit better shape. So we could very easily automate just that one rate wheel to create a really interesting um, bass line. And of course, if we felt that that was uh, too strong, and just too fast with the hi-hats, which it probably is, we could always make our bass melody. For example, let's find a noise we're not using. So we're not using this. So I'm going to turn that all the way down. And let's change our output. I'm getting confused with the wires from 8 to 9. So the gate out is going to be on number 9. Go into the subtractor. And instead of lots of fast notes, I can now just do some notes where I want them to sit. Let's experiment with that. So creating a bit more space for us to work with them. Oops. So you get the idea how using synthesis and using the CV cables, we can start to create some really interesting shapes. I know I keep saying this, rather than relying on us using a keyboard and trying to write what we would consider to be normal melodies, use the synthesis and come up with far more creative ideas. So that's how we've rooted out the redrum to trigger uh, various other sounds as well. One last thing I want to show you is uh, how we can use these inputs and outputs to uh, again trigger other instruments. Um, we could come back into the redrum for example we've got a pitch CV in so on the back of the subtractor uh, I've got various outputs <coughs> I've got the mod envelope the LFO and the filter envelope and what that means is that it's going to send out that shape to trigger something else so let's send out for example LFO1 to trigger a pitch alteration on channel 8 and let's see what happens let's get rid of this it's clearly not working so you can hear that shape there is affecting the pitch of um, the hi-hat and if I alter this so again it's given us some really nice variety
let's have a look at another example where we've also got inputs so uh, this is really useful whereby we could create another subtractor and when we look at spiders you'll see the benefit of this um, we could create an LFO shape here if we'd run out of LFOs on this one we could create an LFO to control for example the pitch so I now set up my LFO shape so that's pretty cool I'm definitely feeling that now. So again, I'm using other synths. Then this isn't making any noise at all. So I could even turn that right down just to let me know. I'm using other synths to control uh, parameters of my original synth. So there's some basic CV overviewing, how we can use the redrum to trigger other sounds within itself and to also trigger other synths, uh, and how we can trigger uh, use a different synth without any sound being made to trigger a factor on a uh, on our original synth hope that makes sense any questions post them up on youtube uh, and look out for a tutorial on spiders pretty soon because they're pretty wicked cheers